Hi, welcome to Joanna's DIY Life. On this channel, I like to sew and I love to make Dollar Tree and cheap home decor on a budget. Today we're going to be making this Pioneer Woman fabric pincushion caddy. It's not like the one I've done before. Y'all won't want to miss this. Now let's get crafty. So I'm in the process of making me another big pin cushion and since I am doing everything in Pioneer Woman in my room or most of the stuff not everything but most I just thought you know I'll film it and show y'all so I got everything out and I'm sorry be it's a mess this is just a 12 by 12 circle folded into four pieces because I am going to be cutting four pieces of fabric and sew them together to make one circle such as like a patchwork deal okay i've got two pieces of the dots and then i've got one of these and one of these okay so i need to sew these together so i'm going to allow myself a little space because you know you got to sew them together and whatnot so i'm going to pin this down it's the only way I know how to, you know, cut this stuff. I, I'm not good with pattern weights and all that stuff. If you are, more power to you. If you're better with the rotary cutter, you know, you can maneuver that thing around there, cut with a rotary cutter. Um, I cannot um, because if I mess it up, I throw it away. You know what I'm saying? And this Pioneer Woman was too high to be thrown away, so... Um, I'm just going to cut just like I said just a little bit not even a half an inch around this to give me some sewing space okay and that's all I am going to do and I'm doing this all the way around because I need it a little bigger if you were doing just one piece of fabric um you can by all means just cut it 12 by 12 and that will be just fine and what we're going to do is i actually wanted something a little bigger so i'm going to use try to one of the dollar tree terracotta pots because it works better for me if not then i'll use this jar but i'm really wanting this terracotta pot so we'll see um but anyway all I'm going to do now is, ouch, them things are sharp. Go over here and I'm going to sew this piece to this piece right along the edges here. This piece to this piece. You'll see what I'm saying. When I get done, you'll understand what I mean, okay? So I'm going to go sew this. So I sewed this piece to this piece, and before I sew them together, I'm going to take them over here to my ironing board. See how that is? And I am going to iron these seams open and flat before I sew it together, okay? Because when I put this down on there, and I'm making this different than I did the other one, if you did see the other one, some of you are new followers, and I appreciate that. I, I appreciate you. And then I'm gonna sew this to this and then iron that seam open as well okay now i've got my needle threaded i use dental floss um you use your preferred thing honey you you do you okay i am going to fold this under and just weave in and out that way it will give me a finished edge when i go to glue this to this pot you know so that it don't look all um, tacky and wacky and all that junk. I do want to make mention that don't pull this all the way through because you're going to have to be tying this, okay? So leave you some room down here. Okay, we are back to where we started and they're both sticking out, okay? Now, if you do not do yours in four panels and you do it in a big circle, mark the middle of your circle okay that's that's important okay i do not want my snippers 
um, slamming down in the bottom of this. So this is just an old rag. It's kind of like batting. And I'm just going to draw around and make me a circle to kind of fit down in the bottom there when I get done. We're going to, and I'm using fabric glue because that's what I had because I was, you know, making my other pin cushion um, thread catcher thingy my bobber and uh, that's you know that it's just there but anyway um oh sorry if you've seen me I'm going to take this and I am going to glue around this okay and this is just gonna hold it for me this is just how I like to do it you don't have to do this I guess if you don't want to and I'm going to match that up with my middle crease right there as best I can and push that down. Okay, now I, this one's a little bit smaller than the other one too because the other one was so big, it like, it, it drove me nuts. So the first thing I like to do um, is put some stuffing in around the bottom and this is the stuffing that I took out of the other one okay uh, and I'm just gonna stuff it down in here around my terracotta pot almost said terracotta tot <laughs> so I'm just stuffing this down in I'm gonna end up with this on top Lord willing okay so um, at least that's that's what I want anyway and I want this firm, that's just the way I like mine. You stuff it to your, your liking, that's up to you. Try to get it even all the way around though. My strings are still hanging, okay? Now you can kind of tighten it a little bit to see, you know, which side needs more or if you need more. Um, that's that's up to you like I said however full you want it okay now you don't want it so full that you can't draw it back up to the top here because you're gonna have to pull this up here and glue it because there's no there's a kind of a a little lip but there's not a real big lip on there so yeah so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna pull this back apart a little bit okay because my pins are going to be going in here that's where I really want my um, steel wool steel wool will sharpen these pins y'all I don't know why because I hurt myself so bad but I like my pins sharp as brand new because you know if if I'm sewing especially delicate um, delicate fabrics or whatever I do not want my pins snagging my my fabric that aggravates the poo out of me so I like to make sure that I have my pins sharp and what I'm doing is I'm tucking this around the fabric part okay just the fabric part and I'm going to do this all the way around my pin cushion and there's no sense in you watching me do that because that's that's what I'm doing. I mean, I just told you what I'm doing. I've got it around the sides. You want to make sure you don't get it real thick because then you won't be able to stick your pins in there. And now what I'm doing is I'm just going around and fluffing my sides now that, you know, you got your stuff in there. And the reason why I did the stuffing first is because... I needed some stability and something to stick my steel wool to and it is right there so when I bring this up it's going to bring the steel wool up around the, the uh, pin cushion because I'm shoving all this down you know under I'm tucking under as I stuff to push out this part but not this part I hope that makes sense because I've said before sometimes I know what I'm doing and I don't explain stuff right to where you know what you're doing but I try y'all I try so I'm just gonna go and keep filling this up and I'm gonna keep you know pulling this tight until I thought I lost my needle until I get it 
the way I want it. And then we're gonna bring it and start forming it the way it needs to be, okay? You need really strong string to do this because um, you do not want this to break while you're tying. If you do, you have to restrain the whole stinking thing again. And nobody wants to do that. You can fluff these out some so that, you know, you don't have it bunched in one spot. And all you got to do is keep working with it. It is trying, trust me. But it's so beautiful when you're done. I'm going to keep pulling until I get that on there. Okay. Yeah, she saw me tie it in a knot, but it won't stay that way. Trust me. Now I got it pretty tight, okay? I'm, the rest is just going to be just going to be gluing I'm just knotting this real, real, real good because I do not want it to come apart. All right, now you want to maneuver this up some, okay? Y'all, I had way too many pins in that other one, and it was a ridiculous amount. So I wanted all of it out. So I'm going to glue this to the edge of this, okay? So you'll see. That way it covers up the terracotta. But I just got to bring it all around. Make sure it goes up and over. I'm going to show you that I'm going to go from one side. I tack this side and I'm going to go over to the other side. Okay, and I'm going to pull it over. And I put glue here and here. And we're just doing little pieces at a time. Just little, little smidgets at a time. And just push and hold until it stays. Then I'm going to go over to this side, and I'm going to do this side, and then vice versa to the other side. So now that I have it all on there, and that was not my choice of glue, but it works. If it comes apart, I'll just fix it. And I have to dump all of my stuff out. But anyways, I'm going to take this, and I'm just going to try to push all this to the top. You see what I'm saying? That way it gives me more to stick my pins in. It doesn't look like it's moving, but honestly, it does, y'all. And I'm probably moving that camera. If I am, I apologize. But I'm just trying to push and push it down so that it gives me more of a, a lip up here. Now, you may not like this at all. That's your choice. I'm going to put this over. I need a glue stick. I'm just going to flip it over so I don't see my pencil marks. And I'm actually going to glue this, but it's not going to fit like you think because you drew it from the outside, okay? So it'll stick up the walls some, but that's all right. That glue is hot, y'all. So you're not going to see me do this. Okay, that was embarrassing. I used my stick, which I'll... I'll get that off later. But anyways, that way, that gives my scissors something to, you know, 
so it's not jabbing. You can make that thicker if you want to. That's that's totally up to you to give you more cushion. So now I don't want it to slide, okay? So I'm going to take this gripper. You can use whatever you you prefer on there. And I am just going to cut a little circle to fit on my pot bottom. Okay, right like that. Now I'm just going to glue this on and then you're ready to stick your stuff in. And I really like this because it has sections because I like to um, section my stuff off because I don't know. I, I have certain pins that I use for certain things because I'm a weirdo, I guess. And I just like them you know, separated or whatever. If you get this too big, all you got to do is trim it off. No big whoopee. Woo, my finger's stuck. I'm not going to flip that over yet until it dries. And there it is, all finished. And it's a lot smaller, thank goodness, and it's so cute. Now, if you want yours bigger, like the other one, just cut your circle bigger, like 13 or 14, you know. And it also depends on what jar you put in it. I like a glass jar or a terracotta pot because it gives it weight. Um, if you use cardboard or anything like that, it, it just it tips over, and I just don't like it like that, so... And I did put another piece of white stuff in there just so, you know, it wasn't smacking down so hard. And there you go. And it's Pioneer Woman fabric. And it's beautiful. So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to my channel and ring that bell to be notified so you don't miss any of my uploads. With all that being said... Remember that you are a blessing, especially to me. I appreciate you. Until next time, goodbye.